Hi, this is Justin from Davis 3D. Today I'll guide you on how to use the found footage horror game template I've created with your own game project instead of the backrooms demonstration level provided with the package. This template is designed to suit game types similar to games such as Slenderman, Amnesia, or any other game type that involves exploration and running away from monsters. To begin, download and create the project files from the Epic Games Launcher. Open up the project and then migrate the backrooms folder into your own game project. Next, copy your movies folder from your backrooms project to your new game project. We have to do this because Unreal doesn't migrate movie files because the developers forgot that movie files actually exist in reality. The Backrooms project was uploaded as a complete Unreal project instead of an asset that can be installed straight into your custom project because it contains input that is used in the player blueprint. If your personal game project does not currently have a player blueprint or any inputs, you can copy over the input by navigating to the content folder in the Backrooms project and copy the default input.ini file into your personal game project's config folder. If your personal game project does have input already used in it, then you should not do this, and instead you'll need to manually add these inputs into the project settings of your personal game project. I'll demonstrate how to do this now. In this example, I have migrated the Backrooms folder to the Sci-Fi Megapack, which is another asset available for purchase on the Epic Games Marketplace. If you go to the Backrooms folder, and then the Blueprints folder, and open up the Player Porn Blueprint, you'll notice that there are errors regarding the Blueprint inputs. To resolve these, go to File and then Project Settings and navigate to the Input tab. You'll need to reference the input names found in the Player Blueprint and create the appropriate inputs based on these. In this example, I have referenced the input name Jump in the Player Blueprint and created an input called Jump and set it to the spacebar. When I recompile the Player Pawn Blueprint, the error now disappears. For any input axes, make sure to add both positive and negative values. In this example, the axis mapping for move forward has W as the positive value and S as the negative value. This ensures when you press S, the character goes backwards and not forwards. Once you have completed all the inputs and there are no more compile errors on your player blueprint, you can now add your player and the monster into your game. To do this, Go to the world settings and change the default game mode to BP Backrooms Game Mode. Make sure your level also has a player start in it. Then, to add the monster, you will first need to make sure your level has a navigation volume in it. If it doesn't, simply place a new one and scale it to your level. Press P on the keyboard to preview the navigation volume. Then you can drag in the BP Entity Pawn and playtest the level. There are a few settings that you'll want to know about which can help guide your game design. If you open up your player blueprint and check the pickup intro variable, then each time your player spawns it will play the following camera animation. Secondly, if you modify your health variable, it can add or reduce the amount of hits the player can take before dying. Thirdly, you can change your walk speed and run speed by simply changing the walk speed and run speed variables. The monster can be adjusted with a number of settings, 
You can disable roaming to make it stay where it is until the player finds it. Or you can check Should Roam to enable random navigation and adjust the speed of roaming and the speed of chasing. You can press F1 while in game to see the mesh through the walls. This can allow you to debug and check the roaming speeds. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. Before I go, here's a final word from Stephen Hawking. Hello there, I am Stephen Hawking. Even though I am dead, I thought I would tell you guys to support this young lad and leave a positive review on the Epic Games Marketplace. It helps him earn more human currency, which allows him to make cool shit. Anyway, peace out. I am off to the non-afterlife because I am an atheist. Bye.